Hey guys, Silence Zero here. Welcome back to another Ultimate Cross Gacha video. But before we begin with all the Gacha stuff, just a reminder for you guys who have yet to watch the latest update video uh, where we actually talk about how the brand new live page actually looks like and how you can navigate through it without uh, less worries, especially if you can't understand Japanese. But before we dive into all the gacha stuff, there is one other thing I probably didn't notice during the update until I was playing the event today. So let's talk about it first. Let's dive into the live page. Let me just lower the volume of the game here by a bit. Don't want to get copyright struck. So we are on the regular live page right now. As you can tell, uh, you can actually switch between regular and event. So if you want to go into the current event, you, you notice that it's highlighted there. And of course, we have the daily event songs um, that give all the resources and of course the free singing stones if you have yet to play it. So let's dive into the event page and you know just to give you a look at how you can probably get into the event page through the regular live tab if you don't actually make use of the shortcut function on the home page itself. So if you guys have actually taken note of the new filter system um, aside from the one that I explained in the update video. Right now, there is also something brand new added to the filter system um, within the episode plate searches for equipment. So if you go into the total tab, you will scroll down and you will notice this, which is what I've been asking for for a long time. Now you can actually search episode plates according to the special notes attached to them. So if you want score notes, item notes, uh, you know, life recovery notes, fold the notes, if you know, if you actually need it, but you know, we barely use any of these two. It's mostly um, the first three, <laughs> especially the score one. So yeah, you can actually search for episode plates with score. Let me just reset the filter. And yeah, so these are all the episode plates that have score notes attached to them. So it is a fantastic thing that they finally decided to add this filter system in. Because um, it would definitely help um, when it comes to deciding which plates to curify. As you can tell, most of my score notes uh, episode plates that are technically very important. Uh, you know, because currently the plates are actually sorted according to the highest total score attached to them. Um, so these are the episode plates that you really need to Kirafi, uh, especially if you want to try and get good high score. And of course, the other episode plates you probably want to Kirafi are, are like item and recovery note uh, episode plates because these are the other episode plates that you actually technically use more often, especially with the ticketing event. And of course, um, you know sometimes if you want to gain a decent high score, but you know survive through. Um, difficulties that you probably can't handle as well because you need more life to sustain damage you know that kind of stuff so yeah this is one of the other things that I left out in the update function uh, or the update video because I didn't notice it until today because it wasn't actually mentioned in the notes within the update for the app itself so that's pretty interesting so okay with that said I'm done with all the update stuff Let's dive into the gacha page and talk about what we really really are here for the brand new episode plate for Min May's Christmas costume. Alright, so let's take a look at the episode plate. Here we go. 3798 total score and it's plus 25 luck value. So without the plus 25 luck, it's actually at 3548. If you guys have been keeping up with all the episode plates that has been recently re released, uh, at least within this new era of Hotel Macross, this episode plate of Min Mei is actually the highest out of all the recent plates that have been released. Uh, yeah, so even higher than um, Freya's and Cheryl's episode plate with the new life skill. So in terms of total score itself, this episode plate is actually um, the best currently for the recent trend of episode plates it's not the highest we've seen but it's the best of the current generations of episode plates so yeah anyways 
Um, voice is definitely the highlight of the main episode played, while Soul suffers greatly and Charm takes a decent amount of points left over. Um, sadly to say, this episode played is the solo diva used episode played, so only Min Mei is able to make use of this episode played. So, if you guys are not Min Mei fans, I think it's okay to make a, um, a pass on this gacha, save your singing stone for waifus or husband knows depending who they are. Um, Alright, so let's take a look at the rest of the episode play. Center skill, voice up. Unit's voice is boosted by 90%. Not fantastic center skill for high score achievement, but that depends on whether it has a good um, active skill to tag along with the high score purpose. And yeah, so as a new episode play in this current generation of Ultime Macross, it comes with that 5 second 70% uh, boost in score, so it's not the best active skill, but it is technically an episode plate that is usable for high score achievements, uh, especially for those of us like myself who don't actually have a 7 star episode plate for SDF Macross, which basically means Min Mei. Um, so, yeah, I guess this is a good replacement. Life skill, short. Duration ability, cause considering that the current event song is a short duration song, so yes, this episode play is definitely gonna help with the high score. Um, not that it is needed, but I mean, it is technically a high score competition um, for every single diva out there. Um, so yeah, I guess. But you know, considering the play, it can only be used by Min Mei. Mm, yeah. <laughs> So, Utahime score and damage, so yeah, the Utahime part basically is covered by who can only use this episode plate. So, score and damage is basically the life skill. It's just that the percentage given is a lot higher than normal. The regular score and damage abilities only give you 100% boost. This one, however, gives 120. Uh, of course, if you have the short duration improvement skill episode plates, it's going to give you a lot more. Let's take a look at the last page, and sadly to say, this episode plate doesn't come with any special notes attached to it, but so far, solo use episode plates um, don't really give any special notes attached to them, so yet, yet, um, until Dana decides to break the um, trend, I guess. So, like I said, if you guys are not Min Mei fans, I think it's okay to pass on this, but if you do have the singing stones to maybe pull at least the bare minimum, um, which is the discounted template pool, you know, I think why not go for it? You know, it might come in handy um, with the current event. If not, you know, if you're just a uh, costume hunter, uh, technically you don't really need the featured episode plate because the event episode plates actually give costume points for Min Mei's Christmas costume. So technically, um, anyone who is not a Min Mei fan, you're kind of covered. The the real panic players should be Makina fans because Makina's costume will be locked behind the gacha. So if you're a costume hunter like myself, it would be definitely beneficial for you to um, keep your singing stones for Makina's upcoming gacha rather than pulling Min Mei's. Okay, with all that said, I'm just gonna use my uh, event gacha tickets for this because I want Makina's costume more. <laughs> uh, I'm a bigger Makina fan than Min Mei. So yeah. Anyways, let's do this guys. We're doing it in the afternoon session. So let's do the free daily pool first. I do have Super Dimension tickets that's gonna expire as usual. So we're gonna do a template pool from there as well. Oh, one, two, three. Wow, three Valkyries for a single free pool. Hmm, today's luck might be actually good. <laughs> but I don't want to use it in Min Mei's Gacha. Can I keep it to like January? <laughs> For the 7 star pools? Oh god. Okay. So it's a double digit uh, common plate. So I wouldn't say the luck is fantastic. Okay, let's do the free main Gacha pool first before we do the Super Dimension pool. So like I said, um, there is really no bare minimum for this gacha pool considering that the event episode plates give costume points 
already for Min Min's brand new costume. So technically, I'm already covered for today. Okay, no Valkyrie animations, nothing that. Ooh, more costume points. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> not too bad of a free pool you know if, if you get this kind of free pool technically you don't really need to pool more but you know it, since they give event gacha tickets um, why not okay so let's do the super dimension pool first maybe if we do get a six star episode play out of this I'm grateful um, but still I would like to keep the luck for at least January one that's it okay One single red box on the first bling. Wow, that's a lot of red boxes. Okay, let's skip all the common stuff. No evolution. Okay, this is a pretty rare play. I mean, even in the OVA, you don't really see the sister smile that much. Hmm. Was that the Uta Macross exclusive image though? Hmm. This is a pretty rare play for Basara as well. Okay. Alright, so no evolutions on the three red boxes. That's okay. Like I said, I would like to keep my luck for January. Evolution for Basara's plate. Not bad. At least there's some progression. Alright, so let's go do the 10 plate pool with the event gacha tickets for Min Mei's banner. Here we go. Very quick load bar. No Valkyries at all. Okay. Like I said, I'm not I'm not exactly disappointed with the bad luck this video. Uh, definitely would like to retain the luck. Ooh, more costume points. Fantastic. Lots of costume points. <laughs> okay. That's a pretty old plate. A bit of a Delta invasion right there. Don't see this plate very often as well. Oh, it's new! Okay, so decent amount of SDF Macross plates and one Wow Freya among the whole, whole batch. <laughs> like I said, um, costume points for the new costume is definitely welcome. Um, so hopefully you guys who are Min Mei fans did better than me. Definitely, I wish you guys all the luck. Uh, especially for your waifu who maybe is Min Mei. For those of you who are not Min Mei fans, definitely save your singing stones. Um, like I said, her costume is technically kind of unlockable through the event episode plates itself. And of course, with the event gacha tickets given to you, make the best out of it. If you get lucky with it, you know, consider it a bonus. Uh, but like for myself, I'm definitely trying to retain as much luck as I can for my favorite waifus uh, gacha in the future, especially for January. I don't know what Dana has in stock for us in January, but I have a feeling it's gonna be Frontier. <laughs> so that's where my um, singing stones are gonna cry. So anyway guys, that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for joining me on another episode. If you guys watch through the whole thing and find all the information for the update of 5.2.0 useful. Please let me know in the comment section down below or on the update video. There's a plane flying by my neighborhood right now. I think you can probably hear it. <laughs> the microphone is definitely very sensitive, especially to loud, loud sounds like that. So, uh, anyway, guys, that's it. I'll see you guys soon. Bye! Oh, where are all these people going? <laughs>